I just turned it on. Whoa. What would you like to say to everybody? Hello, world. I'm feeling great. Why do you feel great? Because, great. Because I love you. She just has the most loving heart. And she likes to make people happy. She's very encouraging. She will t give a cheer for anybody. Yay! Yay! Chris, you, you're my best friend. You have a smile. And I like about you. That was a really sweet thing to say. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. She just wants to be everybody's friend. Friends forever. Friends forever. My Chris. The Chris makes me happy too. And you make me happy too, Whitney. Yeah. And I think one of the best things in life is sitting on a couch, talking to a friend, and sharing a smile and a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Chris. Thank you for sharing. We're both sharing. I think acceptance is really important with neurodivergent stu kids and um, I've seen so many times when she wasn't accepted that I just want everybody to know that she's a fabulous human being and uh, just loving and uh, to treat her the way that she would treat them. If somebody wants to be your friend, what should they do? Um, they will be best friends forever. Is it easy to be your friend? Yes. If somebody says hi, will they be your friend? Yes. Hi. Hi. Are we friends now? Yes. I'm happy to have a friend who's just like you. Happy friend just like you. Hello world. Isn't it cool to know the world is watching? Yes. If you could share one thing with the whole world, what would you share? I share with my dad. This is my dad. Tell me about your dad. Well, he's kind of funny. What's your favorite thing about your family? Well, being family is so silly. How am I funny? I grew up like this. <laughs> if you want to make your mom laugh, what do you do? He goes, Do you tell me jokes? Knock knock. Who's there? Surprise. Surprise who? Surprise Whitney. <gasps> eh? <laughs> you got that little Canadian part in there. <laughs> they tell me jokes like this. <laughs> Why do you like to tell your mom jokes? Because I love jokes. Why? Because Make a happy face. Are jokes important because they make you laugh? Yes. When you laugh, are you happy or sad? Happy. Is being happy important? Yes. If somebody is sad, what will you say to them? <laughs> What's your favorite thing about being Whitney's dad? I feel she's a joy to be around. And I feel that she has been an angel to raise. Is it okay if I ask your mom a few questions about you? Yes. What is Whitney's diagnosis? Mm. Whitney has an HNRNPH2 related disorder. Um, that is a neurodevelopmental disorder that is caused by a single point de novo genetic mutation. And, uh, Let's make that a little easier. So if you think of Whitney's DNA as like a whole library full of books, she has a misspelling in one book, one misspelling in one book in her DNA. And that misspelling, that error causes her proteins to not be built correctly. Uh, some, some really important proteins in her body. And uh, that causes an awful lot of issues throughout her body. Do you want everyone to hear your story? Yes! What would you like to say to the world? Um, happy days! Happy birthday! We had um, 
always had a nanny in the home of some sort. And uh, so now that she's older, we call that a caregiver. But um, that is going to be something that she's going to need for her entire life. Uh, most of the people with this condition do need 24-hour care. I love my family. What do you love about your family? Well, like my mom, my dad, and my son. You don't have a son, honey. I want to be my, my, my father. You don't have one of those either. I'm my, my dad. You have one of those. That's me. You're doing a great job during this interview. How about my mom? Your mom is doing a great job too. Yeah. How about my dad? Your dad is doing a great job too. My brother. My sister. Wait a second. Do you want me to pretend like you actually have a brother and sister? Yes. They're doing great, too. Yeah. Your brother and sister did amazing. Do you like when I pretend? Yes. They did outstanding. They did outstanding. Does Whitney like to imagine things? Yes. She will occasionally tell us stories that she makes up. Well, I thought when I was a baby. Are you telling your whole life story? Yes. Okay. It started when you were a baby. Then what happened? I drank milk. Then what? Then what happened? I went to bed. And then? And then I woke up. How common is HNRNPH two? Mm -hmm. So uh, Whitney was actually about the twentieth person in the world diagnosed with that, and that was three years ago. We are up to about 100 people that we know of uh, in 17 different countries. We do think that there's going to be a lot more out there, but a lot of them are being misdiagnosed with autism or with Rett syndrome. A lot of times it's called atypical Rett syndrome because they can't prove it's Rett's. Uh, Whitney was diagnosed with a mitochondrial disorder originally. And so when we um, learned uh, a few years ago that she had this, she had to have a whole exome sequencing of her DNA in order to find this. And so that's relatively new. That's only in the past four or five years that we've been able to do that. My mom and my dad. They love you. Yes. I love you. I love you, mom and dad. It's great to have a wonderful family who cares about you. Aww. What do you see is your role as Whitney's father? To provide her a safe environment. Um, and a comforting and a loving home. And I try to achieve that every day. Do you feel safe around your dad? Yes. Do you feel comfortable around your dad? Uh-huh. Do you know your dad's always gonna protect you? Yes. He's kind of awesome. What makes him awesome? Well, he's kind of loving, just like a strawberry. If somebody wants to be Whitney's friend, mm -hmm. what should they do? Well, that's not going to be too hard because Whitney will go up to everybody and uh, she loves to shake hands and uh, she loves to tell them her name and all they have to do is respond back and uh, ask Whitney questions just like you're doing today because uh, she has a hard time like coming up with things to talk about. So it's nice to have people... It's time to show some laughs. <laughs> right. She likes jokes. Nice. So telling, telling her some jokes is always a good thing. Mom, my dad, my brother, my sister. Is family what makes you so happy? Yes. Do you want to hear about my family? Yes. I have a mom. Ooh. I have a dad. Ooh. I have a brother. Ooh. I have a half brother. Ooh. I have a sister. Ooh. I have a lot of cousins. Ooh. I have aunts. <laughs> I have uncles. Ooh. I have a girlfriend. I have a puppy dog. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me talk about my family. Do you like listening to your friends share? Yes. How do you feel when your friends share with you? Oh, well, my friends say uh, just like this. They move their mouth and they share? Yes. Mama, 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 mama. If 
friends share. Yeah, friends do share. And I appreciate that you shared with me and then I shared with you and we listened and we had a conversation and it was fun. And it was fun. Does your mom ever make you mad? Yes. Oh boy. My mom makes me mad. <laughs> what do I do to make you mad? We had a we had a big one the other night, didn't we? Yes. What happened? Well, we happened. We yeah. happened. We happened. Where did you Where did you get mad at me? Mad at me. Where were we? Where were we? We were at a restaurant, right? Right. And what happened? Do you remember? I don't know. <laughs> you screamed. And you said, I don't want to eat here. And you ran away. <laughs> so you got mad at mommy, didn't you? Yeah. But you know what? What? We still love each other, right? Right. Do you ever feel sad? Yes. My friends makes me sad. What makes you sad? My mom. Yeah, moms can do that sometimes, especially when you're growing up and you're at that age, 18, parents can make you sad and upset. What do you do to cheer up when you feel sad? Well, I go, woohoo! Does that make you happy? Yes! Woohoo! Woo if you're mad at your mom, do you still love her? Yes. Yeah. I love her very much. When you look at your dad, what do you think? Say, hey, Daddy, look at this. Mm hmm. Do you love showing your dad things? Yes. What kind of things do you show him? Computer, games. What is your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do is gummy bears. I love gummy bears and I love snacks and candy too. Do you have a favorite mm -hmm. color gummy bear? Yes. What? Pink. That's a good one. Whitney was misdiagnosed with something else at first. Mm -hmm. What did getting the proper diagnosis help with? Mm. So when we got our diagnosis, you know, I was standing right in this room and I opened up that letter after she had gotten her genetic testing. And, you know, it, after 15 years to just read HNR and PH2, obviously I didn't know anything about that. Um, you know, I just... I sat down and I just couldn't believe it. And within an hour, I was on the phone with another family through Facebook. Uh, they, the first about six people that had been diagnosed with it started a foundation. And it's called the Yellow Brick Road Foundation. And um, they just set out to find more people with this disorder, with HNR and PH2, and um, bring us together start some research, help fund research, and uh, Whitney gets to see people just like her, and uh, that is a special family for us. Is there anything else you would like to say before I turn off the camera? Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no, no. Don't thank me. Because I'm thanking you. High five? Oh, definitely. You did great in this interview. Woo! I did it! You did amazing. Great job, Winnie. I enjoyed having this conversation with you. How about my mom? I enjoyed having the conversation with your mom. Yes. My dad. I enjoyed having the conversation with your dad. Me too. It's been a lot of fun. Yes, it's been a lot of fun. Did you have a favorite part? Of course. What's of course? Which part was your favorite? My favorite was Chris. And my favorite part of the interview was you. Huh? You. You're welcome. And that's because we shared a lot of laughs. <laughs> we had a lot of happiness. Yes. And we made a new friendship. 
Yes. Friends forever. Friends forever. Sealed it with a pinky promise. Is there anything else you want to say? Say.